Sup, squad? Hey, it's been it's been too long since I made that last. And anyway, um, hi. We have we have more we have more new shirts, okay? Because we're not done. You know what we need? We need sleeves, and we need a collar, and you know what else we need? We need the cape. That's like the that's like that's the important part. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 try five. So drafting the sleeves was relatively straightforward. However, I still think I'm going to have some finagling to do when it comes to the mock-up stage. Uh, unlike modern sleeves, which are generally drafted in one part, um, at least the sleeves on modern patterns that I've seen are drafted in one part with a seam down the underside. This actually, uh, these sleeves are drafted in two parts. Um, and those have seams on the side of the arm and then there's an upper part and there's an under part. Um, not exactly sure where those seams are going to fall on my arm because my arms are a bit twisted naturally. Um, so we'll see where those go. Also, it's not drafted just straight down like uh, modern sleeves. Uh, it's actually drafted naturally with a bend, with a crook at the elbow. Um, so that was some interesting curving that I had to do. Uh, also, I did not have a compass that was wide enough to do the uh, sleeve head as it was wanted me to do in the drafting system in the book. Uh, it wanted me to use a compass and open it up wide enough so that it could go from this point on the side, I think it was point G, uh, up to point H, which is in the middle of the top line, and then make an arc and then do the same thing from H out to G, make an arc, and then at, uh, point P is going to be the intersection of those two arcs. And then from P, using that same uh, radius, you're gonna go from G, curve it down, make a, about a three quarters of a circle, and then you're gonna wanna curve that down to, I think this point A on the right side. Uh, however, my compass did not want to open up that far. It was like, quarter of an inch too shy uh, so I ended up having to do that mostly by hand by eye I did measure it a little bit but it was mostly by eye uh, so hopefully that's going to work out um, if not we'll have to see what happens for the collar I ended up just doing the simplest collar that it has in the book it has a whole page of different collars um, and mostly it's like the rest of the drafting book, you draft the basic one, and then here's how to change that just a little bit into this, here's how to change that into this, and that into this. I just went for the base one. If I end up not liking it, I'll come back and I'll draft one of the other ones, or I'll just modify the collar as is into what I want it to be. Uh, so we'll end up seeing what I end up doing for the collar. Uh, I believe I used Diagram 56. But don't quote me on that. I forgot to record any footage of the drafting process for the cape. So here's the pattern piece that I ended up drafting for the cape. It's kind of like a circle skirt, except uh, we're only making two of these quarter pieces, so it's really more like semicircle. And this isn't. This isn't exactly. Oh, it's really more of a semi really. Um, which is fine because, you know, the body's not really so uh, But we'll see how this works out. Um, the collar actually isn't a circle like you would do with a circle skirt. Um, what it had me do was it had me take the back panel and align it against this uh, edge of paper. Um, and then trace here, which is the collar and the shoulder. And then have me trace down here, which is... Uh, the arm, sorry, uh, and then have me draw this little arc, which is going to be the shoulder. Uh, and then it had me uh, place the front panel against this arc so that it would be at the front line and the back line would be at right angle. And then it had me trace off the neckline. And then it had me apply, I think I did 19 inches uh, for the length of the cape, um, which should be about elbow length for me. Um, and then it has this curve at the bottom. I freehanded it, so we're going to see 
uh, if I need to adjust that hemline when we get to the mock-up phase in the next video in a couple weeks. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that video or the video after it where we make the actual coat. Um, and while you're down in that little uh, section below, make sure to give this video a like. Uh, it really helps with the algorithm, apparently, supposedly. Does anybody really understand the algorithm? Who knows? Anyway, let's get back to this video. Alright, so it looks like we have everything drafted. Um, I, I really feel I'm going to have to do some... Quiet, I'm speaking. I, I really feel I'm going to have to do some mock up -ery. Like, I'm going to have to do a mock-up anyway. I'm going to do a mock-up. But I feel like the sleeves are going to go through... They're probably going to go through a lot of mock -ups. Okay, the mock-ups, they're gonna do a lot for this list, okay? Because I'm not very, I'm not very confident. <laughs> Even on like, the scale of confidence I have about my drafting for this whole thing, which is a subset of my confidence in things overall, um, it, it's pretty low. Like, the sleeves are probably like my least confident thing that I have drafted for this project. Um, the collar? Girl, the collar? Solid. Where is the collar? I can't find the collar. There it is. Look, listen. This thing, this thing, we're going places. Okay? Me and this collar, 100%. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks where we will be doing those mock-ups that I mentioned. Wish me luck. I just wanted to point out that I'm watching Warehouse 13 while drafting. She's totally wearing, like, the modern Ulster coat. Look, she's got the little cape thing on the back, which is what the full cape evolved into.